experimenting with different camera angles and stuff, so we'll see if this is better. Seems better so far, but figuring out a good way to mount things. So today's topic, I wanted to talk about the different modes in the Volt. Um, so the Volt has four different drive modes. They are normal, sport, mountain, and hold. Hold mode is actually only available on the 2013 and newer, um, and we'll get to what each one of them actually is. Uh, so normal mode is what the car always starts in. It's always going to default back to normal every time you restart the car. And what that means is it's going to use the... Um, Maybe let's start with how the Volt works. The Volt is a plug-in hybrid, or an extended range electric vehicle, um, depending on who you ask exactly. What that means is it's got a pretty large battery, not like huge long-range EV battery. It's like a short-range EV battery, and then it's a gasoline engine after that. So it gets about 40 miles of range on all electric power, and after you've used that, then you have 40 miles per gallon of gas range using premium fuel, though, which is 435 at this gas station I'm right next to. <clears throat> um, so the uh, so in normal mode, that does kind of what I just described. It uses the electric range first, and then it uses the gas engine after that. Um, so it kind of just maintains a small buffer at the bottom to accomplish what it needs to. Um, in sport mode, it behaves the exact same way, except the accelerator is remapped, and so it kind of goes faster with less depression of the pedal. That's really the only difference is pushing the pedal makes you go sooner. But it has the same amount of acceleration regardless. Like, if I floor it in normal mode, it's the same as flooring it in sport mode. But it's just a matter of if I push the pedal halfway in sport mode, I'm accelerating more than if I push the pedal halfway in normal mode. Um, yeah, so those are the, kind of the two basic conventional modes. Uh, a lot of people really like sport. I always drive it normal. I find it's better for the car, I think. I don't really know. Um, and so then mountain mode... Um, which is on all of them, including like the 2011, uh, is somewhat similar to hold mode, which we'll get to in a second as well. But mountain mode basically tells the car that it, it wants to run the engine until the battery is at 50%. And so the... Um, I should do coffee before I do these videos. This is like my morning commute, and I hate this stupid merge here where trucks always block the ability to get in the left turn lane. Uh, so yeah, in normal mode, or sorry, mountain mode, uh, you basically tell the engine, I want to, the battery to be at 50%. So like right now, I started my day with a full battery. That would actually just tell it to use half the battery before it turned on the engine, and then it would turn on the engine, you know, way sooner than it would in normal mode. Uh, so basically after 20 miles then, my engine would be on, and it would keep me with 20 miles of electric range. Uh, which is cool, and can be handy in a lot of situations. Um, and then hold mode basically works similarly in that it, it says I want the battery to be kept at whatever it currently is at. Um, so I could activate that as soon as I get in the car in the morning and it turns into a hybrid right away and stores 40 miles of range in the battery. Um, I use that when I'm on road trips and that's where the camera lens is over there. Um, <laughs> so yeah, when I'm on like road trips, I actually do that in order to maintain the, um, the battery range as sort of a backup because like engines can fail, and the car can actually still drive if your engine fails, which is sweet. It also means that you could actually um, run the gas tank dry, which I did the other day, which was kind of interesting to find out. Uh, and so you can, you know, when your gas tank says low in most cars, that means, like, get to a gas station right now. In this car, it means, eh, you can go another 40 miles, and then you can go as far as you have in your electric range after that, which is kind of cool. You can, like, actually know how far this car can take you and it's a pretty accurate calculation. So like it says I have 210 miles of total range right now, I could actually go about that far. I wouldn't run it that close to the line, but electric miles are more specific as how much, you know, you kind of know how much range you have. And in this car, because you run the battery to empty all the time as well, you sort of get used to how much energy that actually means. Um, yeah, so those are the four modes. Uh, so actually, I've mentioned in my other video that I towed a U-Haul across the U.S. with this car, and I use like mountain mode the whole way for that. Um, and I use that for a few reasons. For one, the engine, um, I don't know horsepower ratings, I know kilowatt ratings, they equate, I guess I could do the math, but whatever. Um, the engine produces roughly 50 kilowatts of power. Um, that's the engine, the gas engine. 
honking at me because he has a stop sign and I don't, because, you know. <laughs> um, so the engine produces about 50 kilowatts of power at max, um, and the motor can output 114 kilowatts of power at max. Well, that means that the motor can use a little more than twice as much power as the engine can actually produce. Um, and I need that power for towing something up the hills, going over the Rocky Mountains, and that kind of thing. Um, but you don't need that power all of the time. And so basically, I don't get why people do that. You probably can't see people are passing me in the turn lane through an intersection, just driving for a while. Um, crap, what was I saying? Yeah, mountain mode uh, basically meant that I could store the power that I needed for later in order to be able to climb a hill. Uh, that's kind of the point. In practice, it's sort of like overzealous in the Gen 1 Volt. Uh, you don't need 50% of your battery to accomplish that for general driving. You need... I think in the Gen 2 Volt, it's like 20 or 30% of the battery that it sets that at for mountain mode. Um, but again, I also was using hold mode until my battery actually got to that level. Then I would use mountain mode basically just to tell it to run the engine to store energy for later. And that's, I mean, again, uh, useful for on a number of fronts. At that time, I was camping in my car with my dog. So using the air conditioning at night and um, keeping my dog cool and whatnot. And so I'd often start the day with not a very full battery, and then I'd run the engine to store enough energy to be able to do a hill climb. There was one time when I was crossing the country where I didn't wait long enough to let the engine store enough energy, and I got the propulsion power reduced message um, while going over a mountain. I did it early in the morning, and I kind of wanted to see what happens. I knew what was going on, and it was kind of cool to see. Even then, going up a serious hill with a trailer, I could still maintain like 35 miles an hour or something like that. Um, in, uh, in regular mode, without a trailer, uh, and as I said the other day, like literally just a week ago, I ran my gas tank dry, and so that also triggers the propulsion power reduced message, and you, um, in that case, it was interesting, it actually just limited me to about 70 kilowatts of output from the battery. Um, so, like, even though my battery was full, the car artificially limited me, knowing I had no gas as a backup, I guess, which was kind of cool. Um, yeah, that's the four modes. Um, I guess the fifth mode I can mention is um, the shifter, which is right here that my hand is on. Uh, you can go, you know, park, reverse, neutral, drive, and L. L mode is the same as drive as far as, like, it's not a low gear, it's not anything like that. Um, what it does do is similar to sport mode, it remaps the accelerator. Um, we got a closed lane today. Uh, so yeah, that remaps the accelerator and um, gives you more passive re uh, regen, so when you're not touching either pedal. Yeah, dude, you can't use that lane, it's not a lane. Um, yeah, so when you're off the accelerator, you have more passive regen. It's not enough to fully stop the car. You end up needing to use the regular brake to stop from, like, five miles an hour. Um, but most of the time, other than that, it's, like, one pedal driving, which is great. Uh, I also really like that in conjunction with um, cruise control. It makes cruise control able to decelerate the car in addition to accelerate the car. Uh, and so that's kind of awesome, especially on downhills, especially with a trailer. <laughs> um, so I can be going down a serious hill and automatically keep the car from getting away from me and it would like I could just maintain it at 65 and get a bunch of regen down that hill because I had all that potential energy with the extra weight mm. now we're at 10 minutes already I should keep these a little shorter so oh god someone's passing an oncoming traffic <laughs> cool until next time feel free to like and subscribe and all that jazz uh yeah have a good one see y'all